Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080. Now, this is the Founder's Edition of the card, which is basically what used to be referred to as a reference card. It's manufactured by PNY, retails for $699 US dollars. Still pretty rough or tough to come by one of these, even though the card has been out for roughly a month. You can also wait for non-Founder's edi Edition cards, which will retail for less, and also have more overclocking options out of the box. Granted, this is the first card that NVIDIA really does uh, actually endorse overclocking in a way they haven't with previous uh, reference designs. Uh, so with that said, let me go ahead and get this thing out of the box. There's nothing really else to show here. Uh, you can see they make note of the eight gigs of RAM. That's DDR5X, uh, which is actually faster than the RAM that's on my Titan X that I'm presently running, or anything Maxwell. Uh, this is Pascal-based. This is that uh, brand new 16 uh, nanometer architecture. Uh, on the back of the box, not a whole lot to show here either. Uh, basically just talking about that this is the new flagship. Uh, 2,560 CUDA cores, a little over 1,600 uh, core cl uh, clock speed, over 1,700 boost, and uh, again, really the best card right now on the market. It does outperform uh, my Titan X and, of course, the 980 Ti, and does so at a less expensive uh, price. The 1070 is another uh, really solid option for those of you who aren't looking to spend this sort of money. That card comes in. Uh, at considerably less, you're looking at uh, $499 for the Founders Edition. And they have also changed the design of the, of the Founders Edition, which you're going to see right now as I get this out of the box. And PNY, I actually happen to prefer. EVGA or PNY are the brands that I personally would go with, but everyone has personal preferences when it comes to uh, their hardware manufacturers. You know, you've got MSI, Gigabyte. There are a lot of different manufacturers out there. ASUS still well in the game, but PNY I like. I mean, ever since I got my custom build from Main Gear, and I found out that all the cards they were using were uh, PNY reference cards, it made sense to stick with what was working. So here we go. Let's take a look at this card. Nothing sealed except that plastic shrink wrap that you just saw, at least internally here in the box. And as I mentioned, the reference design uh, now, the Founders Edition has changed, literally. Um, you're looking at a more dynamic uh, shape, if you will, than the uh, straight lines uh, that used to be found on a reference card. Uh, so the GTX 1080, again, 2560 CUDA cores, DirectX 12 support, 180 watt uh, supply is what you're going to need on a single 8-pin uh, connection, for those of you wondering about what the actual wattage uh, necessary is to power this beast. Uh, your PCI Express connection right here at the bottom. Back plate, uh, NVIDIA has added, as you can see right here, a plate that can actually be removed for better cooling in SLI, which is a nice touch, something we didn't have on Maxwell generation. In terms of input, uh, or rather outputs that you have available to you, you have a dual link display port, uh, three uh, display port, cable connections right here and then one HDMI 2.0 so really uh, the 1080 not just about incredible uh, performance when gaming but also VR support uh, that's unmatched so whether you're using oculus something to that effect uh, you're going to have great performance or maybe the HTC uh, Vive you have your options there and uh, overall incredible I think 320 gigs of throughput on this device in terms of bandwidth. So NVIDIA really outdoing themselves with this card. And the 1070 is also a winner for those of you that want to go a little bit more budget oriented. It supposedly performs right there with my Titan X, even though this just beats out the Titan X by what I would call a marginal amount, really not necessarily worth the upgrade unless you must have bleeding edge. Uh, the 1080 right now though is the card to beat. And as more of those overclock versions come out, hit the shelves, uh, of course, they're going to become uh, even faster. Let's see what else is in the box here. Because there is another layer of styrofoam. At the very bottom, we have what I anticipate. Yep. Some software, which will be very quickly outdated. In fact, it's probably outdated already. Some power connection cables. 
and then just some mapping and instructions on uh, the actual plate, DVI orientation, things like that. But I'm going to go ahead and put that back in the box. And again, at $699, this is right now the most powerful card on the market. But do keep in mind that, uh, as I keep mentioning, whether it's the EVGA uh, FTW or any other super clocked version of this card, it is theoretically going to outperform this uh, Founders Edition card unless you take this thing apart and overclock it, which you can absolutely do now that NVIDIA actually says they will not void your warranty. So an exciting GPU, exciting beginning of the year with regard to NVIDIA's new flagship. Can't wait to see what a Pascal Titan has in store for us or even a 1080 Ti. Should be incredible since this is where we're beginning and the 1070 is another great entry point as i keep reiterating any questions or comments please feel free to post them hit that like button and as usual please feel free to subscribe later